Hello viewers. Welcome to another video. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the key information that is included on a motor's nameplate. Understanding how to read the nameplate of a motor can ensure that the right motor is being used for the job and can result in a more efficient operation. A nameplate contains a large amount of useful information relating to the motor, including the type, RPM, frame size, and power of the motor. The exact layout and format of the motor nameplate will be dependent on the manufacturer. Once you understand one motor it's much easier to understand another. First parameter is motor power supply. This number shows the type of power supply for which the motor is designed. There are single phase and three phase motors. In this example, the number three indicates the motor is a three phase motor. This symbol shows the connection of motor, for example, star or delta. This value is the rated operating voltage of motor. It indicates at which voltage the motor is designed to operate most efficiently. Motors are designed to operate at plus or minus 10% tolerance of this value. Next parameter is motor service duty. Duty S1 shows that this is a continuous duty motor. It means that motor can run continuously on rated load at rated nameplate parameters. Next parameter is motor efficiency. This number shows the efficiency of motor, which is the percentage of the input power that is actually converted to output work. The closer this value is to 100%, the lower is the electricity consumption cost. There are four levels of motor's efficiency. IE1, standard efficiency. IE2, high efficiency i.e. 3, premium efficiency, i.e. 4, super premium efficiency. Another parameter is frame size. Frame size defines the geometric values of motor. It defines the outer dimensions of the motor flange, diameter and length of the motor shaft, length and width of the mounting holes, NEMA and IEC standards defines frame size so that motors of different make can be replaced with each other easily. Next parameter is insulation class. The insulation class shows the highest temperature the insulation can withstand continuously without reducing motors life. IEC defines five different insulation classes. Class A, 105 degrees Celsius. Class B, 120. Class C, 130. Class F, 155. Class H, 180 degrees Celsius. In the example, we can see that the motor has an insulation class of F, indicating that the motor's thermal tolerance is 155 degrees Celsius. Next parameter is motor frequency. The letters HZ shows the input electricity frequency that the motor is designed to operate at. Usually for motors, the input frequency is 50 or 60 Hz. The abbreviation KW kilowatts or HP horsepower is the motor's output mechanical power. The rated power is the ability to deliver the torque needed for the load at rated speed. Next is motor speed in RPM, which is the motor rated speed in revolution per minute. This rated RPM is the speed at which rated full load torque is delivered at rated power output. This speed is sometimes called slip speed or actual rotor speed. Next parameter is motor rated current. The letter A stands for ampere, which is the motor's full load current. This value of current is used to determine size of cables, breaker, and overload relay. 
Next parameter is power factor. Power factor is indicated on the nameplate as either PF or cos theta. The last parameter is service factor. SF indicates the amount of overload a motor can handle. For example, a motor with SF1 provide 100% of nameplate kilowatts. SF1.15 provide 115% of nameplate kilowatts. I hope you clearly understand how to read motor's nameplate. For more interesting videos, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.